Hello, tonight we're here with Eric Bellinger, straight out of Miami, Florida, from the BET Awards, international rap artist and star of the new premiering show, Street Dreams. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. You know, this is my first movie, you know, that I'm a part of, so it's definitely an honor and a blessing, you know what I mean, to be able to, you know, transition from the music to the acting. Now, being a rap artist going into an actor, what do you think is the hardest transition? Uh, honestly, I think it's just the difference in performance. You know, when I'm um, performing on stage in front of my fans, I'm singing songs, they're singing along with me. You know, they're right there, but as opposed to acting, you just by yourself, action, it's quiet, it takes complete different focus, you know, but I love the, the balance in trying to master each of them. Now, uh, with the movie's message is that you're not defined uh, by the color of your skin, the area you grew up, the way you look. Uh, what way can you relate to this message? Oh, well, you know, I grew up in Compton, you know what I'm saying? So I've been ducking from drive-bys, you know what I'm saying, since I was a little kid, but at the same time trying to make a difference, you know what I mean, regardless of my environment, to, you know, make a positive influence amongst the culture and amongst the generation. So, you know, I feel like it's definitely a relatable topic and concept that a lot of people will be able to identify with. All right. Thank you so much. Now I have a question. What is the most memorable part in this movie that really speaks to you? What would you say? Um, you know, I think there's a scene that I've been, you know, watching in the trailer. You know, when Elijah is just kind of stubborn in a way because he just believes in himself. You know what I mean? And he never takes no for an answer. You know, and I think I've seen a lot of that in uh, that character in myself, you know, because a lot of people tell you, no, you can't do this, you can't do that. You know, at first I was in a singing group, then I started writing songs for other artists, then I did a solo music, and now I'm doing acting, you know, and I think just branching out and, you know, reaching out to different entities, it could be, you know, frowned upon from people that don't necessarily see the vision. But it's just like Elijah, you know, you got to push through and believe in yourself. That's amazing. Now, with this character, it sounds like you're very much into him and he's very much you. Like yeah. you guys are one and the same. There's no separate. I yeah. would say they're very much together. Would you say that? Definitely. You know, when I saw the, uh, the script for the first time and when I was reading it and I was finding out who Ace was and how he was, you know, the head honcho and how he was, you know, the top dog, the kingpin, you know, I definitely could relate because myself, I feel like it's the same thing with the music. I'm an independent artist, I'm signed to myself. I'm the boss of everything that I do. I'm the student of everything that I do. And I feel like with Ace, he was just into the gangs and he was a drug lord, <laughs> but I'm still pushing that music that's like crack anyway. So, you know, that's the similarity I feel. That's amazing. Now. What, now, I understand that you're very much similar, and you told us the most memorable part is that he was very stubborn but believed in what he wanted to do. Yeah. What would you say is the most hardest part in the movie that he had, to, that you actually had to get through with this character, whether it was emotional or...? Uh, I think for me, I'm always very chill. I'm very relaxed. I don't yell. I don't get too hype. Because no matter what, I look, like, I look at it like... There's no real consequence. You know what I mean? I'm always like, it's no reason to get that riled up. But there's a scene in the character where the character had to like yell at the top of his lungs. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, normally if this happened, I really wouldn't say anything. <laughs> but it, you know, got me to step out of my comfort zone a little bit and just yell and just let out the frustration that had been bottled in for so many years. So, you know, it was definitely a learning experience at the same time. Now, are you looking forward to doing new movies, new projects? Yeah, definitely. This is, like I said, the first one, so it definitely uh, gave me the bug, you know, and got me excited to, to do more films, you know? Thank you so much thank for having me right, here.
talked about is you becoming a pig. I know that you've been putting in applications to get into the FBI. You're not ready.